Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are talking about a nail polish set from Louboutin Beauty. And yes, I matched my outfit to the box. I'm just like that. I'm kind of nerdy like that, whatever. Um, so I did that with the Estee Lauder video too. Anyway, back to this. So this is a little nail polish set that is $90. Ooh, why are you not in your home? Now, the reason that I wanted to try this product out, you notice two are missing that I have already been playing around with. This yellow shade, I just, I just couldn't get into. I thought I could, I had really good intentions. I was like, it's springy, it's summery, it's perfect for this time of year. And I just, I couldn't do it. Um, anyway, individual Louboutin nail polishes are $50 a piece. This kit is 90 for three. You don't get as much product in each individual nail polish, but I wanted to try more than one color. And my big task was to see how long I could wear this polish before it chipped. So I went and got a professional manicure and I have to say the ladies at the nail shop were kind of making fun of me with the nail polish bottle. They're like, this is hard to paint your nails. Why is the bottle like this? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I know it's really fancy, um, but I hope that this works really well and is like chip resistant and dries quick and is fabulous. So I actually filmed myself getting my toes and my hands painted and I can't believe I'm gonna put my feet on the internet because that just seems really strange to me because we all know I'm not really the biggest fan of feet in general so my apologies if you don't like feet and toes then fast forward through that portion but I did want to document and show you guys how the polish went on because if you're paying $90 it better glide on like a dream it better not chip it better be smooth and creamy and pigmented and absolutely fabulous in every way possible. I am going to jump you to the footage of me getting my nails done with the shade Solano. <laughs> It's not that good, huh? No, the second coat is better. Second coat will be better, mm, but mm. it should be better than this for $50. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. I mean, you're doing an amazing job, but Thank the polish you. is like... As you can see from day one getting my nails done, I liked the color. This was actually the color that made me want the kit as a whole. Yes, the blue color reminds me of Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen, which is a longtime favorite. They reformulated that color and it hasn't quite been the same since. And I saw that blue color and I was like, yes, that might be awesome. So there were, you know, the two polishes that really kind of grabbed my attention with this kit and the cream one was the first one that I wanted to try out. So getting my nails done by a you know professional, not just at home, uh, they had a bit of a time making it even. I want a cream nail polish to glide on in two coats, be fully opaque without an uneven texture. So this was a little bit streaky, uneven, and the nail tech was having a hard time applying it. So I don't like this nail polish, at least this color. Uh, chip started happening on day two. My nails are totally haywire right now. They are chipped to death. It's not as noticeable because this is a lighter polish, but if it were a darker polish, it would look even worse. And I'm not that rough on my hands, so it's kind of surprising that this chipped as badly as it did within like day three. I, I should have taken it off, but I kept going because I just wanted to see like, man, is this gonna get really just ugly? And it did. So I don't like it, it is a fail, and we are gonna continue on. I'm gonna try the blue shade, which is called True Blue, and see if there is a texture difference, if that one lasts a little bit longer, if maybe that one is the magic one of the bunch, I'm not sure, but I wanted to try more than just one polish so that I could get a better feel for what this polish is about. This is being removed right now. I'm going to polish my nails at home with the blue, and I will check back in with you guys and we will see if it does the same chipping and craziness and if this polish is just an all around fail. All right, so I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I have the first coat on of True Blue 
And the handle does make it a little bit odd to paint your nails, but I do like that the brush is pretty tiny but wide. So it does glide over the nail pretty evenly, but the handle can be a little womp, womp, womp. Um, I mean, this is going on kind of like any other nail polish. There was nothing that made me go, yes, Oh my God, this is just crazy. You do not need to spend $50 on a bottle of nail polish or $90 on a set. This is really just not making me the happiest person. So some products like <clears throat> Edward Bess makeup, which is beautiful. That primer is like changing everything about my life. Like there are certain items that you spend that money for and you're like, I know this is expensive, but it's worth it. Um, this. I don't think it's worth it. So that's where we're at. We're gonna see how it looks with two coats and if it chips or not, or how soon, or how much wear time I can get out of it. All right. So I just wanted to hop back on a day later after painting my nails with True Blue from Christian Louboutin Beauty. And you guys know I did not like the initial cream shade. I bought the $90 set, you get three polishes. And this guy, although it's a beautiful color, and even when I was editing my disappointing products video and I had just applied this and I'm like waving my hands around and I'm like, wow, that is a spectacular shade of blue. It's so pretty, but this is one day, one day, and the tips are already completely worn off. I already have a few chips here. Actually, every single nail is chipped, and I did use a top coat. I always use Sesh Feet. It works well with most of my polishes, and this one just did not live up to the hype. I don't think it's worth the splurge. I don't think there's anything that spectacular or special. If you wanna use it as a showpiece and have something pretty on your vanity just for display, you know, they're cool bottles, they're cool looking, but even then it's like 90 bucks, like geez buy something else to decorate with. I do love a few expensive luxury nail polishes. Tom Ford makes an excellent polish that goes on creamy, dries quickly, does not chip. Um, Marc Jacobs polishes wow me every time I put it on in the first coat. I'm just like, how are you so magical? Dior polishes are beautiful, but also there are tons of affordable polishes at the drugstore. Sally Hansen makes some great ones. You know, OPI is not crazy expensive in comparison. It's super affordable, you know, 10 bucks for a polish versus 50. And I just think that there are better alternatives out there and no one's going to look at your nails and be like, oh yes. Louboutin. No one's going to know. No one's going to know if it's Wet n Wild 99 cent nail polish, especially if you're having to reapply it one day after initial application because it's chipping to crap. So there you have it. This is a fail. This is a dud. I do not like it. And I hope you guys still enjoyed the video and seeing a few different nail colors on me. Let me know if there are other products out there that you think would fit for this series. I love hearing your feedback. Leave that information below in the comment section. I'm going to go redo my nails now and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Mwah.